this does not look good. I love the animation here, by the way. Where am I? And what's that horrible smell? Uh, oh, fuse box. This isn't as complicated as the one in chapter one, luckily. It's just switch all switches and you get lights instead of ventilation. Oh. Holy crap. Judging from the badge, this was Victor 11. This is where he ended up. Ugh. The arms are missing from the body. This is making me uneasy. The skin and muscle tissue have almost been liquefied by heat. Okay, so cold shoot here. The chute door has been has rusted shut. I won't be able to open it. Hmm. Apparently, apparently this has been going on for a long while. There's a skeleton here. Uh, yeah, it's hard to tell from the decomposition. I'm starting to feel sick. Of course, there's a big elephant in the room, the tentacle. It seems to be sucking fluids out of the fresh corpse. Ugh. <laughs> Yucky. His face is almost unrecognizable, but judging by the badge, this is the body of the bartender. So I guess it's a good thing we didn't raise him after all. Ugh. This is where he ended up, the poor bastard. Peace. Help. He he. Creeped out? <laughs> you want me to help you? Yes. How can I help you? Help. He. I don't know how I can help you. Okay, um, I'll be back, I guess. So, the tentacle has lodged itself in his stomach and is sucking the fluids from his body. Ugh. Uh, so, we could try to make him a poisonous, uh, uh, poisonous, uh, you know, drink. So let's put some gasoline in there. Oh, we don't have any... We have gin. I guess that'll help. Um, let's try giving giving him that gasoline and gin. It should make a, ma a person blind, but I don't know how it works on tentacles. The contents of the shaker wouldn't help him right now. Mm, let's see. That wouldn't damage it. The tentacle has lodged itself in his stomach and is sucking the fluids from his body. Yeah. Let's see. Well... There is one last thing. Um, we need... Uh, this didn't make complete sense to me, but hey. Uh, this cold shoot is rusted. I won't be able to open it, yeah. But if we use the scalpel, examine it, it looks really sharp. I have to be careful so I don't cut myself. I think uh, the scalpel was damaged in the fall, it's too blunt. Yeah, so we can't cut ourselves anymore, sadly. <laughs> but we can scrape some rust uh, off the cold chute. And if we put the rust in our little poisonous cocktail, we the rust suddenly makes it uh, uh, lethal. Apparently, I, it's not quite uh, logic, but hey, it's in a dream, a dream world. So hey, everything bad for you together makes for death, I guess. So let's have him drink that. No, rat poison. Too dangerous. Oh, lemon? No, I don't know. I've squeezed some lemon juice to the shaker. 
the contents of the shaker turned into a disgusting sludge. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and it even has this green uh, liquidy thing pouring down. So that... Yeah, so even more ironically, uh, some drops of lemon makes it even all the more poisonous. Even though it is, it is uh, of course, uh, uh, acidic, but, uh, well, I don't know. Swallow this, brother. It's all I can do for you right now. For you now. And this animation, I love. I mean, it's, it's something to add. It adds a bit to the game. And here we go. Something seems to be happening in, with the tentacle. Thus, Alicia should be free, hopefully. Victor? Are you there? Alicia? Thank God you're safe! Here, let me help you up! Ah... Oh. Let's leave this dream world, Alicia. I'm so sorry, Victor. I could see and hear you, but it's like I wasn't in control of my own body. I know, honey. The machine told me. But it's all right now. I could feel you in my dream. I wanted to warn you, but the machine wouldn't let me. I was so afraid it wouldn't hurt you. I know, honey. I managed to spoil its food supply. I don't think it'll be coming back here anytime soon. No, but the machine is still forcing me to sleep even though I'm fighting to wake up. Right. I thought you'd wake up once I severed it from your dream. You need to cut the machine out of every dream first. Only then will it shut down completely and let me go. Okay, so the stakes have certainly been elevated uh, a bit. If you don't sever the sever the, the tentacle or the grip from every dream, we're all screwed, basically. And this music, it's loud, but it's epic. What if I fail? You always said I had a pacifying influence on you. So having me as a drooling vegetable must be right up your alley. <laughs> Don't say that, Alicia. That isn't funny. I know. Can you see yourself changing my diapers? Or spooning pureed food into my blank, unresponsive face? I will if I have to. That's love, I guess. So this is your recurring dream, huh? Do you always dream about being alone on a boat with multiple copies of me? I don't know if I'm flattered or creeped out. It usually isn't like this. But at least, I didn't dream about somebody else. You always had good taste when it came to men. Booyah! Let's just stay like this a little bit longer. I'll miss you when you leave. I'll see you on the other side. Once the machine has been shut down. I'm sorry to leave you, but I have to. I know. But I'll see you soon, alright? Yeah. See you on the other side, my love. And they kiss. And unfortunately, me as the player has to... I, I have to click him away from the kiss by having him walk. Bye, Elisha. And so... There are f two or three more tents, I don't remember, which will be focus... Uh, which the game will focus on in the two next chapters. And man, this is where we came in, this is where we'll leave, and this is where I'll leave you. Chapter 3 comes to an end, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and I hope it doesn't take almost a year until uh, uh, Chapter 4 comes out. So yeah, I guess I'll see you.